Oh, okay, here we go. Come on, game. Oh, things are happening. Okay. This should, hopefully, be on my screen. Outlast. There we go. Because I love my sister so very much, she wants me to play scary games. Which are... not what I'm good at. In fact, I'm kind of a lightweight. I love scary games. But you're gonna ski you're gonna see me very scared. <sighs> Alright, let's get this train wreck on the go. Tense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content, and strong language, please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of the Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, recording everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Oh, good. I should probably find out a way to, on my channel, change it to, uh... There's something I can set where it's, like, uh, mature content within or something like that. I should probably put that up. So as not to traumatize whatever little kiddies are out watching Twitch at, uh, what the hell in the morning. I'm trying to find that now, if you'd give me just a moment. Because the last thing I want to do is traumatize the kiddies. <laughs> okay, it's dumb, sorry. But no, seriously, I don't want to get in trouble with Twitch for hosting an obviously rated M for mature game. When it's not rated M for mature. Or when it is rated M for mature. How do I change that? Asked James. It's not under profile, it's under video manager. Have you ever played this game, Linz? Like, do you know what this game's all about? Played for about five minutes two years ago and turned it the hell off. Ah, here we go. Security and privacy, maybe? Nope. Opt out two factor authentication. Block messages from spammers. Block whispers from strangers, block invites from strangers. Ah, oh, I want to get whispers from people even if they tell me I suck. It's your content. There we go. Inappropriate for younger audiences. You may never broadcast actual activity, nudity, threats, or extreme violence. Doing so will immediate irrev irrevocable termination of your account. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a bunch of crazed out inmates in an asylum might have a little bit of graphic content in there. So we'll just... we'll call that a pass. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. And I should probably edit my channel title because this sure is hell ain't space pirates and zombies. What should I call it? Horror Lightweight takes on Outlast? Be a a running thing. Horror out. Horror lightweight takes on Outlast. Apparently, there's going to be an Outlast too. Oh joy! Oh joy! This broadcaster has indicated the channel's intended for mature audiences. You think the on-screen text overlay doesn't suit this game? I 
Yeah, that's probably true. Let's turn that off. There, should be gone now. Alright, so there should be no more thing there. Yeah, because that would kind of take away from it, probably. Alright, so we should, hopefully, be good to go. Right. This is exactly what I wanted to do my night. Get scared out of my pants and then go to bed. Got a nice car. No, I don't get notifications for new followers. I don't know how to set that up. I tried and it wasn't working, so. Static on the radio there. I'm sure there's nothing terrible with that. Mount Massive Asylum. Great, I'm sure they'll respect my press pass. This is your fault, Lindsay. This is your fault that I'm doing this to myself. my stuff flashes. Oh, here we go. Miles Slupshire from random number at mutemail.com. You don't know me. They have to make this quick. That might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt. Murkoff's making money. It needs to be exposed. Well, hey, there's a Pul Pulitzer right there. Got some double A's. Got a crappy handy cam. Got like a $20 radio... $20 Radio Shack special. Miles up, sure. Oh, okay, I got night vision, apparently. Takes HD camera. Gotta get those HD shots. Oh, and I showed up right at sunset. I'm sure everything is going to go well. New objective. Investigate the asylum. Okay, so right click brings up my thing. So here I am. Mount, Ma Mount Massive Asylum. This is investigative reporters, miles up shut. This place is apparently deserted. I will attempt to find my way in. If anyone finds my abandoned vehicle, this is my license plate number. Touch choppy? That's not what I want to hear. Why you gotta be like that, Lindsay? Why you gotta be like that? Fine, we'll make it ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Let's go low, crap shadows, low effects. Apply. Yeah, let's uggo this out a little bit, shall we? Yeah, actually, still looks about the same. Hey! Hello! <laughs> right here, let me in. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I can actually see myself. That's rare in video games. I can apparently, like, lay right down. I can go right down sneaky. Okay, there's peeking out around the corner. Andy. Alright, well, let's see if we can find a way in, shall we? Is that any better, by the way, having me change that? Left mouse button over to slowly hold down left mouse button and move it. Okay, so I can... Or I can just push it open. Okay. Right mouse button to raise my camcorder. Here we are, Mount Massive Asylum. Oh. Event recorded. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down of its scandal and government secrecy 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. 
Cell phone reception cut off abruptly, mile out, more like a jammer. Markov Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. So not only am I in this for the Pulitzer, I apparently have a little bit of a social justice streak going on here. Notes are only recorded when your camcorder is raised. Okay, well, here we are, approaching the asylum. To run, hold down left shift. Okay, probably shouldn't run with my camera to my face. That's probably not good. The heck kind of truck is this? It's like a I don't even know. I go, almost looks, oh no, there's a couple of these things. What the heck is this attached to on the top? It's like belching, en belching engine exhaust from... Weird. Weird, weird design. Alright, so, this place, I suppose I should try the front door first. I'm sure that'll work. It'll be the most unexpected game ever. Okay. They let me in, I do my interview, and I leave. Hello? Whoa, okay. Yeah, don't tap your E button, it makes you look like you're having a seizure. Even that made me jump. Oh god, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by this game. To crouch, hold down left control. Okay. This place looks like it's still under some kind of construction. Got a quick exterior establishing shot for my bio documentary. Hello. Yeah, Alright, fine. Be that way. Still a little choppy. Is OBS dropping frames? I don't know. Probably. If I alt tab to check it, it's going to say that it's running in the tank. I guess I'll drop everything down to very low. I suppose I could drop the resolution. That might help. There, it's much easier for my game to render now. Due to a lower resolution. Let me see, let me know if that makes a difference. This is a resolution test. Whee, I'm jumping in water. Whee. Is it choppy? Is it not choppy? I gotta wait 20 seconds to find out, because that's the chat delay. Anyway, let's press on. A oh, nice hand over hand. Wow, that is way choppy. Damn it. See, this is why I need a better computer. Fine, let's... Let's start with Uncle Joe's clay palace of people and textures. Yeah, so that's insects, that's very nice. Alright, is this any better? It's pretty smooth on my computer, but I don't know what OBS is doing. Probably throwing up all over itself. Ooh, that was a fun jump. I can mantle up, that's nice. But I heard somebody moving around. Oh, wow. Oh, this is not a good thing. Night vision uses batteries. Oh, 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 I don't like any part of this. Oh, sweet fancy Moses. Hello? 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 Oh. What the shit was that? It was the static on the TV being retarded.
I gotta see what I look like here. Let me just take a second to look at my stream here. I gotta see how stupid I look. Being terrified out of my mind. Alright, I didn't look that stupid. I'm still getting used to this webcam thing. Alright. Well, I'm sure this isn't going to suck any more than what has already happened, right? Ha ha ha. Can we just close this door? Oh, good. He slams it like he's a bully in fourth grade. Great. Great. Oh, let's... Oh, good. Oh, oh. This is looking more and more like a really bad place to be. Oh, I got a battery. Yay. Can't do anything on this computer. No. That shadow just made me start. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, this place is obviously not doing well. We're a minute in. This is what I found in the uh, Mount Massive facility. Probable signs of a struggle and serious, serious abuse. We got bloody footsteps on the carpet. Great. Phone off the hook. What do we got here? Patient numbers Billy. Age 19. Claim to progress to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormones. Keep in mind to where my face cam is located. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Is it, uh... Too far out? Does it need to be zoomed in? Is that what you're saying? I need you to be picky, because this is literally the first time I've ever used a webcam ever. You're in the upper left, covering up things in the game. Oh, that's what you mean. Um, am I? I mean, I don't see anything on the top left of the screen. The only thing I got up here is the amount of time I've been recording. That's all I got. Oh, I can zoom in with this thing. That's handy. It just says press J to... I guess in this game I probably want to move my face cam to the bottom right, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, great. Oh, hell no. Take all the time you need in the bathroom, my friend. Seriously. Oh, jeez. I don't want to turn my back on that door now. Oh, that's cool. He actually reaches out to be freaked out. Oh, this, look at how there's something up in the vents. Great, and I have to go up there. Okay, let's just gently, gently, or just, just slam it like you're angry because your mom grounded you. Oh, this guy does not deserve to live. To reach the air vent, do I have to? Like, seriously, can I just go turn around, go back through the hallway, and just leave? <gasps> No, I'm gonna press on, because this might be the murder, I mean story, huh, of a lifetime. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh! Jesus Christ, whoa, let's get a shot of that guy. What did you say, Wall Rider? Is that somebody's name? Is that like the person in charge of this place is named Wall Rider? Oh, jeez, there's people running around out here. Oh, I don't want to go deeper into the asylum. Chapel Recreation Hall, Lobby Library. Alright, this is Miles, whatever the hell my name is. Having a great time. <gasps> Fucking hell. What the fuck was that? Christ almighty. Fuck 
you horror strings. Great, so what do we got here? We got decapitated people. We got people hanging from ceilings with no heads. Oh, this is just a wonderful day in the neighborhood. We got heads on shelves. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, look at the way the eyes reflect the, the uh, light. Oh, my lord almighty. Okay, this is time to pack up and leave now. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you, buddy! They killed us! The out! The variants! The variants, great! You can't fight them! You have to hide! You can unlock the main doors! From security control! Jesus, buddy! You have to get the fuck out of here! Yeah! I do! I'm seriously with you there, man. Oh, sweet giddy Jesus, there's a torso on the chair. Alright, let's take a second here, reload my uh, battery there. Freaking hell. Wait, what the hell was that? I hear something. Somebody said something there. Oh, great, there's more dead people down there. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know what? I'll just... No, I'm not even going to bother closing that door, because I'm fairly certain it'll make the noise like the friggin' destruction of the universe. Oh, god damn it. Good things... Okay, I need to splash some water on my face here. Oh, good. I just needed a minute to collect myself. But instead... It's a horror show. It really is. Look, there's a, there's a hand in the toilet. There's a hand in the toilet, ladies and gentlemen. So, okay. I've, you know, I think I've irrevocably trapped myself in here by falling out of that vent. Because I'm pretty certain if I go back to that vent, it's not going to let me climb back in and go back to my car and get the ever-living hell out of here. Okay, whoever these people are, if they work for this horrible company, this is these two people's fault, if you guys want to press charges in the future after this documentary comes to light. What do we got in here? Oh, good. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna swear somebody's gonna throw one of those open one of these times. I'm rambling hard because my heart is in my freaking throat right now. I don't normally talk this much. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Little fake. Whoa! <laughs> Who the hell are you? I can't cook it. Okay. Well, I had time to say, hey, I'm getting choke slammed. And then I got choke slammed. Oh, hey, you're an attractive fellow. Who are you, then? Some crazed priest. I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Yeah, it's called survival. It's a very common calling amongst human people. Yeah, Christ. Little pig made me jump, too. Yeah, I think a lot of people did. Sweet fancy Moses. Proclaim the gospel. Yeah, let's take a let's take a picture of that. That seems like it might be important for the documentary. We got that guy threw me down from up there. We got a lot of dead corrections officers. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's go into the darkness over here. Still getting used to everything here. There's a dead guy. How's it going, buddy? Really? I don't think that radio might be important? Channel 1? Like, that might be important. But no, I guess we're just, uh... I guess we're just gonna ignore that for now. One thing this game's got is ambiance. Holy Christ on a cracker. I don't think I normally curse this much either. There's dead people literally flipping everywhere. Everybody, well, that's good IT security. As an IT person, I can appreciate that everybody locked their computer before they got murdered. Looked like a calculator. Well, it said channel one on it, so that's probably a radio channel. Yeah, that guy tried to hide before he was brutally cut down by whatever horrible nastiness happened here. Oh, there's a, there's one that's on. Oh, it's a screensaver.
All right. Well, let's press on into the abattoir. There's no part of this I like. Like seriously, there's no part of this I enjoy. I hope if anybody's watching this that they're getting jollies out of me jumping like a jackrabbit out of my chair because that's what's happening here. Jay, is that what I do? Here we go. Okay. Oh, Project Wall Rider. So Wall Rider was some kind of operation or secret experiment. CLW Walker. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress. Okay, I don't understand most of this. Biometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints. Following his self-inflicted mutilations, restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. So that's the guy that chokes slamly. Extensive dermal eruptions are consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. So this thing mutates people. He's claimed the skin's ripped from his forehead allows for truer way of seeing. He seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara lizards and their parental eyes. He has expressed anxiety around his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose, which that guy apparently had had removed. Tending orderly should be advised to watch for the self-mutilation. Mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. So, he's a psycho, he self-mutilates, he think he's a he's got PTSD, and he's a massive guy, and you thought this was okay to just pump this guy full of crazed mutagens? Holy god, was this place run by the Whoa, was that guy moving? Yep, he oh, he's twitching. Okay, yeah, great. I think Umbrella, this place probably seconds out its stuff to the freaking Umbrella Corporation in terms of operational security. And great ideas. Alright, hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, need me to wheel you somewhere? Oh, okay. You're remarkably prescient. Let's get a shot of you for the cameras. Okay. Yeah, I'll just be on my way there, buddy. Okay. Oh, shit, there's more of you. Okay, what are we watching here, boys? Oh, yeah, that one's my favorite, too. I love this part. You don't seem to really care... Okay, that guy's having a bad time. Let's get a shot of this for the viewers. Anything you want to say here, guys? Oh, okay, that was actually a thing. How do I see my video logs? Is it my journal? I forget how to do this. Okay, this music is freaking me right the hell out. It can stop any time here. I'm pressing keys on my keyboard here, because I'm trying to figure out... I just got a video log of something. Whatever, I'll find it later. Hey, buddy. Whoa, what is wrong with your face? Yeah, you're not doing too well. Oh, you... You don't... Okay, I'm not even going to focus on any of this anymore. Is there anything pertinent you want to add to my little documentary here? Christ on a Christmas. Oh, good. Jeez Louise. There's a battery under the table. I can't tell. Okay, there's glass. I'm like, is that just really foggy and messed up, or is there actually something under there? Yeah, my guy is breathing heavy. I can hear him. I don't know if you guys can. He's kind of panting and sighing. I'd be doing the same friggin' thing. Okay, I don't know how to get that. Whatever. I don't need a battery that bad. I'm not going to crawl under a table with a dead man. Hey, buddy. Are you still alive? You look kind of dead. Thanks for the security control key. Jeez Louise. Oh, reporter's notebook. Yeah, here we go. Notes. Broken man and dead television. Crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Yeah, I bet no. I bet somebody's home. I bet at some point they're gonna freak out and, like, murder each other or something equally pleasant. Sweet fancy Moses. Hey guys, how you doing? I'll leave you at a party of five, or friends, or 90210, whatever you guys are checking out. And 
Okay, buddy, you have a good time. I'll see you later. Ah! Fucking hell! Get you! Jesus. You know, I'd feel bad for you, but in real life, I don't want to give you a couple quick kicks right now. Yeah, no problem, buddy. I'll get the F away from you. Yeah, you have a great time, you psychopathic jerk ass. Where the hell is this the key to? Like, I got a security key. I'll just... Oh, of course. It's starting to thunder and lightning. Why wouldn't it? Let's just check mark all the horrible, creepy check boxes in this nightmare carousel, shall we? How you doing, officer? Look like somebody messed you up. What you got here? Seizure. Okay, so this is their purchase orders. The affidavits, the affidavits, evidence. Issuing a warrant. Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environmental contamination. So, we also got a, like a an environmental disaster on our hands here. Hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities to surrender complete authority to all agents, regardless of responsibility. Ah, uh, great. Okay. Fun, 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 fun. Just a fun old time going on in here today. Alright, well, here's the question. Uh, the electric room? The oh, security room's this way. Okay. You can look behind you by holding Q or E while running? Why am, why am I gonna have to do that? Oh yeah, look, I can. Why do I need that capability game? Why do I need that capability to look over my shoulder and see something chasing me? Why? Why? Oh, hey. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Great. You having a good time? Oh, good. Witness. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll get a video of this. This is the kind of crazy stuff I'm dealing with night now, everybody out there in TV land. Already beat all the hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. A couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. <laughs> he throws me through a wall and knocks me unconscious. I wake up with some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler with an homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Well, for a journalist, I definitely, I definitely have a way with words. Oh good, there's that arm. Hello! I gotta remember that fuck starred his head with the cheese grater. That's a good way to call somebody hideous. Oh, oh good, they've artfully decorated this area with organs. Good, good, that's what this place needed, a little... House of Horrors motif. Wow. See, the thing is, I don't know... If this was real... Fuck you. Somebody just closed my door. Like, I can't tell how long these people have been dead. This might have happened, like, 20 minutes ago, for all I know. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fucking throw it open. Who's out here? That's some false bravado for you right here. Oh, here's the security room. Anybody else hear that beep and want to come check it out? No? Great. Alright, well we're going to close this door. They lie. Let's get another shot of this, shall we? This is the security room of the Murkoff Corporation. There's dead cop, bunch of blood. It's grand old time, really. Unlock main doors. Yes! Let's make that a thing that happens right now. Security. Oh, really? What is this, powered by Windows 98? Oh, there's the priest. 
Are you hitting the main breaker for the building? Come on, man. Is that really necessary? Hide in a locker? Uh, okay. Sure, let's hide in the locker. Oh, great. Oh, it's Pigman. Cheese grater face. He just opened that first locker. Holy god, he's huge! He's built like the back of a fridge. Hey, go away. Go away, buddy. Go away. There you go. There you go. Nothing to see here. Just a man in a locker peeing his pants. How long do I wait? Jesus Christ, he's still looking around. I don't hear anything anymore. Wow, he just knocked that security door right to hell down, didn't he? Alright, well he went that way, so I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way very quickly. Oh, good. Look, all the lights are off. All the lights are off. Great. Oh, shit. I guess I better go down the electric room where Mr. Priest Man decided a great thing to do to me would be to turn off electricity while I'm unlocking the main doors. What a nice freaking child of God he is. Okay, well it's a little past midnight. There's no way in hell I'm playing this any longer than I already am. Fucking hell. You you did this to me, Linzern. I swear to God. This is your fault. And we have a couple new people watching it. Croth the Mud Bum. There's a name I can get behind. A little joviality to end this thing on. Thanks for watching, buddy. If you want to leave a favorite, you're going to be getting more of this every night until I beat the game. And maybe I'll pick up the DLC for the whistleblower, but thank you for joining in for my prototype stream with the webcam. It's my first time using it, but hey, thanks for watching, and remember, you guys are awesome. Now, how do I save this monstrosity? Excellent. Have a good night, guys. Take it easy. And for the love of God, try to get a good night's sleep.